we have Brother Hawk in the tree here, and he's being harassed by all the other birds over here. Ooh. There he goes. Well, folk, heading out to the old vanitarium, and seems to be a big old branch that has fallen in, in the yard here at the ex's house. So, uh, I don't know how this works. Does, does she have to get rid of it, or do the people over there who own the tree have to get rid of it? But it's a pretty big branch. Well, folk had the little TV on, and I looked in the corner, and it seems uh, that we are under a tornado warning. And as you can hear, the alarm is going off. Oof. <laughs> So I don't know if that means someone spotted one or what, so <laughs> hopefully all's good. Later, folks. All right, folks. Well, I have been trying to get a video out, but um, I have had a, been having a really, really bad toothache. Uh, I believe it's abscessed. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, my ex had some uh, extra antibiotics up there that they weren't using, so uh, I took, took some of those. But where I think I screwed up is uh, I took a naproxen, and uh, the thing is I don't know when this all started, and you can tell my, my nose is very stuffed up right now. But um, I can't take ibuprofen or anything like that because um, it just makes my my nose start running like crazy, and uh, it's it just it's just a pain, and I'm I sneeze, and uh, right now it's stuffed. But in a little bit, it'll be like runny like crazy, and then I'll blow my nose, it'll be stuffed, and it just goes on like that all night. So um, right before I um, left Connecticut, I did go into the ER uh, to get a breathing treatment because I couldn't breathe. Uh, and I remembered that I did indeed take naproxen that day. So I have uh, pretty much, what, what are they called, NSAIDS? In, Something like that, the uh, non-steroidal, uh, inf inflammatory, whatever. But uh, I think I am allergic to those. So I do not believe I will be taking any more of them. But uh, thank goodness I do have the uh, uh, the uh, antibiotics to get rid of this abscess. And uh, <laughs> it may kind of suck, but at least the naproxen works and I feel no pain. <laughs> but I just got to deal with this in the meantime, so... Anyways, I don't feel like I'm having uh, much of breathing problems or anything, so I don't think I'm going to have to do the ER trip, thank God. Uh, but, yeah, I do think I figured out it is the, the, the proxen, the ibuprofen, stuff like that. I just can't take that anymore. So, anyways, um, let me uh, flip you around and you can check this out. Earlier, I had uh, made myself some chicken and everything, and then I had the uh, rice, but I forgot to bring corn in because I was going to have chicken, rice, and corn. But uh, later on, after she got out of school, my daughter ended up making corn on the cob and asparagus. So now I have asparagus and corn on the cob to go uh, go with my dinner. So uh, thank you, thank you to my daughter. She's awesome. But anyway, so I think we're going to lay down a bit, uh, probably chow this a little later, and uh, try and uh, beat this allergy thing. So uh, I'll try and get this video up as soon as I can. So later, folks. And finally have the first of the roses starting to come up. Bunch over here, bunch over here, but gonna be, uh, be looking pretty cool once they all start coming out. So, all right, folk. Well, uh, excuse the mess, but anyways, um, I had decided I'm keeping the dresser in. I was gonna take that back out and put my table back together. I had taken the top off to get the dresser in, but with the top off, I kind of lifted it up and over and got the whole thing out so now what i'm going to do is like i said i decided to keep the dresser so now i'm going to make something right here that goes up with uh drawers in it and everything uh the bed over here totally has to be redone and uh i'll flip you around night butch is driving me crazy there's not enough room on that freaking bed so um i've definitely got to get that done i've been meaning to do all this i wanted to wait till i got to ohio because i wanted to do it with my son and uh he is getting out of school not this Friday, but next Friday. So uh, in a week, he'll be out of school and he'll be able to help me with stuff and uh, I'll be able to do more things with him. But I don't want to start doing all this stuff and going all these places and he's still in school. I want to wait till he gets out. So uh, 
hopefully starting next week or the, the week after things start picking up on the videos. But um, yeah, so I have to extend the bed because he's driving me nuts. I'm going to build a little shelf area there. I am possibly going to do build a little something above the uh, the dressers to make a little bit more storage room there. And also, let me flip you around one more time. There is this area right here, which is right by the door. And it's this area where I have the charge control and everything, uh, the batteries, and the wire that comes in from the solar panels. And right here, I'm pretty much, I like this thing, but I'm going to move it. And I'm going to make something a little bit bigger. So, because I have another a battery that I need to put in here. So I have more, uh, more hours. Anyways, folks, so coming up pretty soon, once he gets out of uh, uh, school and everything, we'll be doing uh, a lot more. Uh, first, we're fixing this up. Then we got to, uh, well, well, I got to do the garden as well. I forgot about that. We got to hit Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever, and uh, go and get some plants so we can get the garden going. But with that one, I have to bring my daughter along, too, because she likes to do stuff like that. Um, and then me and the boy, at some point, have to start getting ready for that garage so I can build his little area. But... Until he decides to get off his butt and come out and help me, it's not going to get started because I'm going to make sure he puts in work because I'm making that for him. So he's going to have his own little working area and he can get off his butt and help me with it. So uh, anyways, for now, folks, I think I'm going to wrap this video up and get it out. And uh, like I said, once he's out of school, a bit more stuff going to be coming on and a bit more content and everything. So I'll catch you then and uh, hopefully you stick around. So till then, don't forget, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down.